presidential inaugurations are rich in tradition and rhetoric. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. President Barack Obama will become the 17th Commander-in-Chief to give a second inaugural speech. Obama will be sworn in twice, once in a private ceremony on Sunday when his term officially begins, and again in public on Monday. Believe it or not, the Constitution does not require the president-elect to swear on a Bible, but it's been a tradition from the beginning thanks to George Washington. Washington also holds the record for shortest speech at just 135 words. In 1841, William Henry Harrison gave the longest speech. It lasted almost two hours in freezing temperatures. As a result, Harrison would last about another month before dying of pneumonia. In 1925, Calvin Coolidge was the first president to have his inauguration broadcast live on the radio. Live television would follow in 1949 at Harry Truman's ceremony. Ricky, this is it. With television also came competition. More viewers tuned in to watch an episode of I Love Lucy, where Lucy goes into labor, then watched Eisenhower's inauguration the next day. And more than 30 years after that, Reagan's private inauguration would fall on Super Bowl Sunday. He did the coin toss via satellite. It is tails. Now take all this presidential knowledge and go impress a few friends. For The List, I'm Ariel Wessler. Thank <laughs> you.